Right LEGO fans, we're just a few short weeks away from the release of the LEGO Movie 2, and apparently this time everything is not awesome. However, it is awesome getting brand new LEGO sets, and there are a lot of brand new LEGO sets for the LEGO Movie 2. In the first wave I think I counted 19 sets. I'm going to try and get through as many of those as my bank balance will allow, and today I'm going to be unboxing, speed building, and reviewing Set number 70821, Emmett and Benny's Build and Fix Workshop from The Lego Movie 2. This is a 117 piece set featuring everybody's favourite master builders, Emmett and Benny. It's also quite interesting because this is suitable for builders aged 4 plus. In the past this would have been labelled Lego Juniors, but I guess younger builders don't like being labelled Junior. As a Lego fan who grew up in the late 70s and early 80s, my favourite Lego theme was always Lego Space, so I'm always happy to see Benny, and especially when he comes with something that looks like a classic Lego spaceship. And it looks like Emmett's got a sweet ride too. The 117 piece part count includes the two minifigures of Emmett and Benny. Despite this being a junior set, the minifigures are very standard. And that often means for adult collectors like me, if I want the minifigures, I have to buy the junior set. Although in this case, I don't think Emmett and Benny are going to be rare characters. Over on the back of the box, we get a better idea of what's coming inside. What LEGO are trying to do with these 4 plus sets is provide a building experience that's not frustrating for younger builders. As you can see here, we have a preformed chassis and the wheels simply click to the sides. This means younger builders can get the set built quickly and without frustration, tears and tantrums. The spaceship looks like a very cool build, and it will be interesting to see how much of that is pre-assembled. But in any case, we've got the classic space logo, a transparent yellow windshield, and this looks very much like something I would have built when I was about six, which is awesome! We also get the build and fix workshop, which includes a bunch of tools, and a rolling tool chest that looks suspiciously like it came from Snap-on parts. We also have Emmett's car with flames coming out of the back, and a tiny little moon buggy. One of the really nice things about the LEGO Movie 2 sets is that we have sets for all different ages and experience levels. I've even seen at least one Duplo set. I'm super excited to build Emmett and Benny's Build and Fix Workshop, so let's get this box open and see what we've got inside. So here's everything that came inside the box. We've got two numbered bags of LEGO, a very large piece of Benny's spaceship, and a 46 page instruction booklet. I'm going to go ahead and put together Emmett and Benny's build and fix workshop, and today this is going to be a 60 second speed build. <laughs> And here is a completed Emmett and Benny's Build and Fix Workshop. As you'd expect with the LEGO 4 Plus set, it was a pretty simple build to put together, and build time for us was 11 and a half minutes. It's a pretty straightforward and fun play set. We've got a fun car with wheels, we've got a spaceship for some role playing action, and then there's a workshop with a set of tools which you can use with the minifigures. We're going to take a look at the car and the spaceship first, then we'll take a look around the Build and Fix It Workshop, and we'll finish it up with a review of the new Emmett and Benny minifigures. The LEGO Movie 2 has a dystopian Mad Max kind of theme, and this fun little car fits into that theme really well. It has a single piece chassis which makes the build really simple, and the wheels simply clip to the sides. The wheels are double sided, and that makes it really easy to change the look and feel of the car. It looks like Emmett and Benny have made some significant modifications. As you can see we've got two of these two-tone yellow and red fire elements sparking out of the back. 
We also have a four cylinder engine block, although that wouldn't necessarily make it powerful. One of the really nice things about these four plus sets is that you never get a sticker sheet. Can you imagine a four year old trying to sticker a Lego car? That would not end out well. But we do have a really nice custom printed piece with the wild style logo on the hood. There's also an aggressive looking set of bull bars and some chains on the front of the car. Offering some protection to the driver, there's a smoky plastic windshield. And most importantly, we have a driver's seat and a steering wheel. Now, of course, the big question is whether a minifigure will fit inside. Let's find out. That's a very positive yes, and I always think this is a really important test. There's nothing more frustrating than buying a Lego model and finding the minifigure won't fit inside properly. Although saying that, Emmett might want to invest in some driving goggles. The windshield isn't quite big enough to be effective. Moving on to Benny's spaceship, this makes me very happy. To the untrained eye, this could almost be a classic 1980s spaceship. But when you inspect it from underneath, it becomes apparently clear that this is not the real thing. We've got that large base plate, which makes building this thing a lot easier. The colors are perfect with that classic Lego space blue and that really nice transparent yellow. I'm pretty sure this is exactly the same element we used to get back in the 1980s, except this one looks a lot newer. We also have the same classic space logo that you see on the front of Benny's chest. On each side we have some thruster rockets which are very classic elements and we have some larger classic style rocket boosters at the back of the ship, although these are mounted to the ship using a very different build technique to those used in the 1980s. The main boosters are on pivots and these open up to reveal a small moon buggy. I really like the way LEGO have built this because there is a stud in the back and that does help the moon buggy to stay in place. This is a super compact little build made out of just a handful of elements. Comparing it to a classic space moon buggy from about 35 years ago, I'm really impressed with how this borrows from the look and feel of the 1980s moon buggy, yet doesn't attempt to completely copy the design. I'm sure it would be very easy for LEGO to rebuild some of the original sets, but as a collector, I really wouldn't want that. The moon buggy also passes a minifigure test, having room for Benny and his air tank. The recessed piece at the back makes it very easy to fit the minifigure inside. It's a similar picture with the spaceship. The designers have left plenty of room for Benny and his air tank to sit inside the ship. There's even room for Emmett to hitch a ride. Benny's spaceship is a really nice build, especially considering the younger age range to which this set is targeted. Completing this set, we have Emmett and Benny's build and fix workshop. This comes with a rolling tool chest on wheels that work really nicely. It comes with a range of tools, including a wheel brace that clips to the back, an oil gun and a socket wrench, and a pull-out drawer to hold the other tools. There are some more wrenches which you can store in the railing at the front of the workshop, and we have some gas cylinders, presumably for welding. Although I thought these guys were meant to be master builders and using Lego. I've definitely never used welding equipment to make something out of Lego. But the really nice thing here is the printed panel at the back. As you can see, this has some really nice metallic detailing, including silver and copper printing. I also think there's a schematic here for Emmett's car. This is a really nice little set, and I think it's perfect for the targeted age range and above. But there's enough here to keep older kids and people like me happy as well. And one of the really nice things about the LEGO Movie Part 2 sets is that these are all LEGO IP. That means there's no licensing involved here, so a proportion of the cost of the set isn't going to someone like Disney, for example with Star Wars sets, for the cost of the licensing. Before we wrap up this review, there's something really important we have to do. Let's take a look at those minifigures. Emmett's minifigure is new for 2019, but you're going to have to look really close to see why. The Emmett on the left is about 5 years old and came with the Double Decker Couch set. The one on the right came with Emmett and Benny's Build and Fix Workshop. Can you see the difference? It's all in the detail on the reflective stripes. The ones on the left are pristine, and the ones on the right are somewhat damaged. I take it this reflects the rough time that Emmett's had in this new dystopian world. The picture is very much the same around the back. The stripes on the earlier Emmett are good, and on the right they're distressed. Apart from that, the characters are virtually identical. Here's a closer look at Emmett, who is still dressed in his construction worker outfit. And we've got some really nice metallic detailing on the front there. You can really see this shining in the lights. So we've got these metallic reflective stripes. We've got the Emmett name badge, exactly the same as we had before. There's a belt there with a belt buckle. And then we've got some pockets. I think that's a pen in his pocket there. And then you can see this reflective vest, which opens up to show a shirt underneath. Around the back, we again have the reflective stripes. And those are a little bit weathered for the new dystopian theme. The pants are printed on the front, but not on the back. 
Now when it comes to the facial expression, he's almost got a classic face here. Looks like a classic 80s minifigure, except the expression is ever so slightly there. He has this haircut, which is very similar to the one we had in the last movie. We've got a kind of cowlick on the back there, and then we always have an alternate expression here, and he looks quite mean and upset there. Now I'm thinking we're going to see a lot of Emmett minifigures in this new wave of sets, which are probably going to be the same, but a little bit like the Batman minifigures. They'll probably have very slightly different facial expressions just to upset collectors like me. Turning our attention to Benny, it seems the minifigure hasn't been updated for 2019. The one on the left came with the double decker couch about five years ago, and the one on the right is the brand new one. Clearly they have different faces, but I've had a good look and I can't see any other difference here. Again, I'm sure Benny is going to have a different facial expression in each one of the different sets. And that's a very smart move on Lego's part, because if you're a minifigure collector, you have to collect multiple sets. Incidentally, this is the double decker couch set I was referring to. I believe we also got a double decker couch with the sea cow, but I digress. It's great to see that the characters haven't really changed that much between the two movies. Anyway, back to the review. The Benny minifigure is pretty much what you'd expect. He comes in this classic space blue colour. He's got plain blue pants on, and then we have the classic space logo on the front there. Now, the reason this is kind of obscured and scratched out is that the print on the classic space characters had a nasty habit of rubbing off, and that's why you see the print here isn't perfect. That's kind of a throwback to that. The other thing that was wrong with the classic space characters was the helmets. Now, you can see here we've got a kind of ridge on the bottom of the helmet, here and that's because this part of the helmet used to always snap. Now that is not the case here, it's actually moulded to look like that, but this is actually a thick and pretty robust piece. Um, I'll show you one of those classic space helmets in just a second. Now we have Benny's very happy expression underneath and around the back we have a slightly more worried expression. I kind of like that, that's a, that's a great deal of fun, but we'll not keep that on. We also of course have Benny's blue space tank there, the air tank on the back to keep him topped up with air and he's a super nice little character. Now before we move on let me show you one of these older spacemen. Uh, this is uh, one of my very own ones which I used to play with as a kid. Uh, he's probably about 35 years old so quite a veteran here and you can see the difference in the helmet. The thin strap on the bottom of the one on the left is replaced with a much thicker one on Benny. Um, this one is actually in really good condition but this is the print that would rub off. It wasn't metallic on the original ones and uh, this is the plastic that would crack crack ever so often. The other thing that used to happen with these is that the feet would crack. They would crack along the front or it might have been along the back when you were connecting them to studs. But Lego did start to make these a little bit better. But that is why we have this kind of broken Benny as a nice little throwback to the classic space days. Incidentally, Benny does get some friends in the Lego Movie 2. I'll be releasing a review of this set soon, but this is set number 70841, Benny's Space Squad. In this set we have a whole bunch of classic style space characters, including Kenny, Benny, Lenny and Jenny. This is the first time we've seen a pink Lego astronaut and the name Lenny suggests this is a guy. So that was set number 70821, Emmett and Benny's Build and Fix Workshop from the Lego Movie Part 2. Considering this is aimed at younger builders, I think it's a very well-rounded Lego set. And I think Lego have done really well to price this at the $20 price point. There's a nice amount of play value for the money, and we've got some really nice minifigures, which I'm sure are going to be a hit with younger builders. As always, I really hope you enjoyed this LEGO Movie 2 unboxing, speed build and review video. If you did, please feel free to drop me a like and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome LEGO content. I've got a bunch of LEGO Movie 2 reviews coming up and if you're new to my channel, there's over 250 videos for you to check out. So thanks a million for joining me today, stay safe and we'll see you on the next build video.